Quantum computing promises to revolutionize technology, but there's one big problem. Qubits, the quantum version of classical bits, are alarmingly fragile. They're influenced by decoherence and quantum noise, leading to rapid loss of quantum state fidelity. But this is where quantum error correction comes in. A game changer, both conceptually and practically. Let me explain. Instead of encoding information in a single qubit, error correction protocols use a clever distribution of quantum states across multiple qubits, creating what's called a logical qubit. For example, the widely studied Shor code uses nine physical qubits to encode one logical qubit. Now, what makes this unique? Classical error correction measures and stores backup copies of data, but in quantum systems, the no-cloning theorem prevents copying an arbitrary quantum state. Instead, quantum error correction detects errors through entangled ancillary qubits. These ancillas don't directly measure the quantum data, but measure syndromes, indirect information about potential errors without destroying coherence. By identifying and correcting single bit, phase flip, or even combined errors, the system ensures the overall survival of entangled quantum information. Here's the kicker. Implementing quantum error correction isn't just theoretical anymore. Cutting edge hardware, like that from IBM and Google, has already demonstrated small scale correction of quantum states. Even more impressively, researchers are exploring topologically protected qubits, which use the braid-like configurations of Majorana zero modes to create error-resistant qubits inherently. It's wild, really. This field is pushing toward fault-tolerant quantum computing, where error rates dip below a crucial threshold, allowing arbitrarily long and stable quantum calculations. Why is this critical? Any practical quantum application from breaking encryption with Shor's algorithm to simulating quantum chemistry, absolutely depends on error correction to scale up. Without these advancements, quantum computers are just very expensive toys for short-lived experiments. So, if you're fascinated by how we're bridging quantum fragility with robust computing, dive deeper into quantum information science. This is just the start. And hey, for more short dives and in-depth explorations in advanced physics, technology, and philosophy, hit subscribe to Hyperfocus, where I, a physicist, cut through the noise and skip the pop science fluff.